students i am your moral science teacher mrs sapna today i will introduce you with the unit test 1 syllabus of moral science note down this syllabus in your notebook it is unit 1 develop good habits unit 2 study techniques unit 3 learn from the mistakes these three units are included in ut1 then activity 1 on page number 54 it is also included in ut1 of moral science let's start with the unit 1 develop good habits each and everybody know about the good habit which sort of good habits you should include in your daily lifestyle similarly something they have given in this chapter we will discuss they have given one example with a story the garden of life you are able to see the two pictures they have given of mira's garden and geetu's garden these two are the friends and how they manage their garden related to this story they try to give us the message that which sort of habits we should develop firstly they describe about mira and gitu these two were the classmates as well as intimate friends and once their class teacher requested the students to engage themselves in a hobby and hobby you know what it is mean at which work you take more interest that is the hobby of their choices so after 6 month after 6 months the teacher inquired about the hobbies of her students mira and gitu reported gardening was their hobby and they have set up a garden at home the teacher requested to bring photographs of these garden to see how beautiful they were now uh, in this image you are able to see which sort of garden both these friends they manage which one is looking beautiful mira's garden or gitu's garden yes mira's garden is more beautiful than the gitu's garden now the same questioning they ask in this chapter first question which garden did you like most and why and everybody know which garden is looking beautiful so let's write answer mira's garden we liked most because beautiful flowers are grown second which of the two gardens is more beautiful and we know mira's garden how is mira's garden different from that of gitu mira's garden is well maintained fourth how can gitu make her garden better by maintaining it in better way fifth if life is a garden what makes it beautiful love care and happiness what makes the garden of life less attractive bad habits make the garden of life less attractive how can we improve the beauty of life by developing good habits and i think you enjoyed a lot in these seven questions and come to know how you can develop the good habits to develop your life like a garden good habits to this video you come to know brush your teeth twice daily keep your teeth healthy and bacteria free exercise daily to keep your body fit fine take three meals in a day to get proper energy wear clean clothes to keep your skin healthy always speak truth to keep your mind healthy 
always go to school on time and finish your homework regularly to maintain our mind and intelligence respect your elders for blessings play together to develop a team spirit cross road at zebra crossing to avoid accident help the needy person share your toys to keep smile on other faces visit doctor regularly for check wash your hands before and after me during this covid 19 we do all these things to remove the virus even in the regular day we have to wash and comb our hair day keep the toilets clean so the germs can be killed keep the surrounding clean to avoid dust respect your teacher for the better knowledge and to develop a solid character don't eat too hot or cold it will impact it on your tongue and taste buds on the tongue help your friends it shows your true friendship with your friend drink lot of pure water to remove impurities from the body pray to god in morning and night God Welcome your guest with the happiness Don't use abusive language It can torture the mind of care the sick Don't insert anything in your eyes Keep puncture clean the ear regularly Cut your nails regularly so the dust cannot insert in the name don't steal don't shout now what is habit habit is a regular action or tendency which is very difficult to give up when we have a tendency to do something over and again it naturally become our habit once a habit is acquired means you adopt it most probably it will stay with us all through the life of course then it become extremely difficult to get rid of it now there are two kinds of habits we know good and bad good habits are those which help us to achieve great things in life a person with such positive habits will surely be a success the bad habits are those which make life dull a person with such negative habits will naturally move to failure and it is difficult to acquire good habits but comparatively easier to give up on the other hand acquiring a bad habit is easier but getting rid of it is very difficult to develop the good habit you can see in this diagram in which way you can develop action then develop desire repetitions of good habits then habit then it make your character means at the higher level if you develop the good habit you become the successful person in your life and rest of the chapter we will discuss in next video